In the Gemara today, on the top of Kufiyud Gimel Amadal of the second line. Amalei Rav Laravasi. Rav said to Ravasi, Loi Todu B'mosa, do not sit in the city, the Loi Tzonev Be'i Susia, that there's no horses there that bray, the Loi Novach Bakalba, and there's no horses that bark. So Rashi and Ashbam explain the reason is because when you have a horse and a, a dog in a city, they will help you to keep away thieves. If there's a Ganav, so the dog barks, and if there's a Ganav, you have to chase him with a, with a horse. So that's why these are important things for a city. Va'al todu bi'ir, and don't live in a city, the reish mosa asya, that the mayor of the city is, so one pshat in Rashi is a doctor, another pshat is that he's a Talmud chacham. And the reason for both of them is that if he's a doctor, he's too busy with his profession. If he's a Talmud chacham, he's too busy learning teda, and he's not going to take care of the people in the city. <coughs> so interesting, there's a sikha from the Rebbe on this uh, Gemara, this right, right away with the, the second shot of Rashi, one Kufiyad Gimel Amadalov. The second shot of Rashi that says that you shouldn't have a mayor of a city which is a Talmud Chacham. Uh, so the Rebbe spoke about this in, in the beginning of Nisan Tov Shem Mem Ches. And the Rebbe said, Nusa, who should be the mayor of a city? And I'm It has to be someone that has a personal knowledge of Teira, otherwise he's going to make mistakes. And the Rebbe explained, it's a whole Arichas there in the Sikha, where the Rebbe explains the difference between Moshe and Aaron, that there's Teira Mal Maila Lamata that tells you the MS the way it is Lamaila, but it doesn't relate to the Metzius of the world below. And then there's the Indian of Teira that comes down and relates and is applied to the Metzius of the world. When Rashi here says that a Talmud Chacham shouldn't be a mayor of a city, what it's saying is that a person that's in the world of Teira and doesn't relate, doesn't know how to bring down the words of Teira to apply it to the world below, he's not a person that can do that kind of Aveda. And the Rebbe there in the Sikh explains that that's the difference between Moshe and Aaron. Moshe brought Teira from Matan Teira and Sinai, and Aaron was Oiv Shalom, the Raid of Shalom, he was able to bring it down to the masses to speak to everyone. Baiter in the Gemara, the light of Tarti, do not marry two women because they may conspire against you. A Nasvis Tarti, if you marry two women, Nasvis class, so they marry a third one, so if these two are conspiring against you, the third one will report to you about what happened. Yeah. Now, does others actually say that the issue is Zugas? Yeah. But over here, Rashi and Ashbam say that the reason is that they might conspire against you. Omalei Rav, Rav Kahana, Rav said to Rav Kahana, Hafoich b'nevelta, you should do work, even dirty work, like dealing with a, a dead carcass. V'loi teipach b'mili, and don't uh, do a clean job uh, uh, where you're dis- dishonest. Teipach b'mili, there's a few pshatim, but one of the pshatim is that you do clean work, whatever business it may be, but you're draying, you're not honest in your business. If you do business, do it honestly, even if it's dirty work. Pshait nevelta b'shoke, you should even be ready to skin a dead carcass in the marketplace. In other words, be ready to do even very dirty work, and get paid for your work. And don't go and tell people, oh, I'm a Kayan, I'm important, I'm a special person. And uh, it's below my dignity to do such kind of a dirty work. Be ready to do even dirty work and you'll get paid. This is a famous Gemara that the Rambam quotes. You bring it in Hilchas Mat Nisanim. There's a famous Shittas Rambam that even a Talmud Chacham, a Rav, a Rosh Hashiva should not get support from the community. You should work for his Parnasa. That was Shittas Rambam. And he brings this Gemara as an example. And the Rambam brings many different Tanoim and Amiroim that you find that they had professions, they worked, Rav Yechanan Sandler, all kinds of Tanoim. They didn't want to get paid from anybody. So he brings this Gemara. But the Beis Yasef, in Shulchan Aruch and Semerei on Hay brings that most Rishonim disagree with the Rambam, Kemat all. The Rambam is a whole long Pirish HaMashnayis of the Rambam and Pirkei Yavis, where the Rambam says this Indian. Most Rishonim disagree with the Rambam. The Beis Yasef there brings a Tashbeitz, the Tashbeitz rise, just because doc- the Rambam was a doctor and the Rambam was able to support himself, so therefore he imposes his opinion on everyone else. Other people can't, and therefore we don't pass them like this Rambam and they get it to this Indian. That's not because they want to get to the Okay, could be no, but I'm not talking about a no from Teireh. The question is, should a Talmud Chacham be a person that's supported by the community, or does he have to work for a living for himself? That's the Machlekes Rishayim, and it's based on our Gemara. If you're going to a rooftop, that's the simple translation, but what it means is if you're going on a way, even if you're going on a short trip, make sure you have your food, you have a meal with you. Even if you're going to a place where food is very cheap, you can get a hundred cabbages for one zuz. Nevertheless, your meal should be under your uh, clothing. I always have a meal with you wherever you go. Today, you know, you travel, you get stuck in the airport, you never know where you're going. Always have food with you. Rav said to his son, 
Do not drink uh, medicine, drugs, and things that you don't need, things that are extra. And the Rashi and Rashbam say the reason is because it's addictive. And also Rashi says that every time you have a medicine that helps for one thing, it has a side effect which is negative for something else. So if you're using medication or any drugs that are not necessary, it's going to be harmful for you. Do not take large footsteps. And the reason is, the Gemara says in a few places, a person that takes large footsteps can be harmful for your eyesight. Do not pull out a tooth if you're having pain. If you pull out the tooth, the pain may go away and the tooth may be healed. Once you pull it out, it's gone. Do not instigate a snake. It might fight with you, it might hurt you. Do not instigate a goy. We learned Gimel, the three individuals, you shouldn't instigate them. And these are the, the following. Nochri cotton, a guy, even with, if he's small, meaning even if he's not someone prominent that you're afraid of. The Nochash cotton, even a small snake. The Talmud cotton, a student that's small. And you may think, oh, these people I could instigate, I could fight with them because they're not going to harm me. But you shouldn't. My time it. The malchusayu achayre udnayu. The kingdom is behind their ears. Koi. That's where it is. In other words, they may be in a position which is small right now and they can't harm you. But in the future, they may be. They may rise to a position of importance, and then you'll be in trouble. They'll take revenge of you. Amalei Rav leEvu Berei. Rav said to his son Evu. I worked hard trying to teach you Teira, and it was unsuccessful. So, come, let me teach you some things in the ways of the world. And here, many Mepharshim explain this Gemara, how it means, what it means, he wasn't stopped telling him things, but let's throw the Gemara in the simple pshat. So, he said to him as follows, When you're bringing home merchandise, and you travel, and the sand is still on your feet, Zvinach Zovin. Immediately sell your merchandise, don't let it sit around, sell it right away so you could move on to other things. Don't let things sit around. Call Mili, but then he also told him something which is sort of a little bit of the opposite. Call Mili Zavin, whatever you sell, the Techrat. If you sell it right away, you actually might regret it. You might realize you could have got a better, better price for it. Bar Mechamere, besides wine, the Zavin Vele Techrat. If you sell it, you're never going to regret it because if you leave wine sitting, it can become vinegar. Shari kisecha, open your pockets and get paid for what you sell first and then uposach sakech, and then open up your sack to take out the merchandise that you are giving. In other words, never sell on credit. Kaba me'ara, better make less amount of money, the, the amount of a kav in the ara, in the land right here where you are without traveling anywhere. Veloi kura mi'igre, and not a much larger amount where you have to, where your panos is by traveling around. Tamre bechaluzach, if you have dates in your dish, lebeis sudne rohit. Take your dates and run to the house of a person that makes beer out of these dates. Because if you're going to leave it, you might eat it, you won't have enough to make beer. Va'at kama, how many, beer, how many dates are we speaking about? If you have up to three saw of dates, so then go and bring the dates to make beer out of it. But if you have more of that, you'll have enough, you don't have to run right away. Amarav Papas, the Gemara here says, the mile of making beer, Eloi de Ramoi Shechra Loi Iatri. If not for the fact that I made beer, I wouldn't become rich. I guess beer was a good commodity, he was able to become rich for this. Ikadamri, others said, Amarav Chister, Rav Chister is the one that said this, Eloi de Ramoi Shechra. If not for the fact that I made beer, Loi Iatri, I wouldn't be rich. My Sudna, why is a person that makes beer called a Sudna? Amarav Chister, Soid Noe. It's a nice secret. In other words, it's a secret exactly of how to make this beer. On Gemilas Chasadim. And also, you can give uh, money to Tzedakah. You become rich. You can do Gemilas Chasadim. Omer Av Pope. Rav Pope said, Call Agav. Gav your boy. Anytime you, you give a loan, and you write a document, you have a star, but you should know, be careful with this, because you're going to have to then collect it. And if you have to collect it, not always will you get your money. Call Ashroi, anytime you give something on credit, Suffolk Asi, Suffolk Loyasi. You may get paid, you may not get paid. Uda Asi, and even if you do get paid, Mois Rais Nino. This is money which is sort of coming to you in a, in, a, in a terrible way. In other words, a guy will pay you $10, another $10, but is schleppen the neshama. So whenever you give money on credit, be very careful who you give it to. Gimel Dvarim, Omer Rabbi Yechenen, Mishum Anche Yerushalayim. There are three things that Rabbi Yechenen said in the name of the people from Yerushalayim. Keshat HaYaitzel HaMolchama, when you're going out in the war. Al Teitzel B'Rishayna, don't leave, don't be at the front. You should be at the end of the line. So if you have to run away from battle, you're at the end and you're able to run to your house first. Huh? 
That's not the advice. Yeah, the correct. No, this, uh, the Mufarshim discussed this. L'chayir, it says, Fakert, you go out, you're not supposed to be afraid, and so on. And if you're telling everyone to be at the back of the line, so who's going to be at the front? That's a question of here. Yeah, it's, 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 it's difficult to understand. It's Gemara. V'asei Shabbat Chachoyl, v'al tetzadach lebris. We had this a few times before. If you don't have money to, ha- to make the Suda of Shabbos special, Shabbos Dik, you should just not borrow money from anybody, don't take money from anyone, just keep your Shabbos meal like a weekday. As we had before already, when you see someone that's successful in his business, try to make business with him so your, his mazel will be your mazel as well. There are three things that Rabbi Shua ben Levi said in the name of your people of Yerushalayim. Don't do things, so Rashi explains, things that are usually done privately. Don't do these things in public. Because of an incident that happened. This refers to the story with David and Bathsheba. David saw Bathsheba doing things that she usually did privately and then that brought that he he married Bathsheba. So things that are supposed to be done privately should be left in private. Bitcha, Bagra, if you have a daughter that's already coming of age and she can't get married, you can't find a shidduch for her, you should do anything for her to get married. Even Shachrer Avdacha, free your Evet Kanani Vitenla and give it to her to be married to him. And be careful with your wife, from your first son in law. My time, what's the reason? Rav Chizda says because of an inappropriate relationship that may be between them. Rav Kahana says because your wife might spend too much money on her first son in law. And the Gemara concludes both of them are true. Three a person that raises his children to learn Torah, and a person that makes havdala matzah shabbos and wine. What's the uh, case that we say that he has zeichet The mishaye mikidusha laavdalte that he has very little wine, but he leaves over from the wine that he had by Kiddush to use for Havdalah for Matzah Shabbos. Amar Rabbi Yechonin, Rabbi Yechonin said, Shloisha, the three individuals, Machriz, Alei, and HaKadosh Baruch B'chol Yoyim. The Ebishter announces their praise every single day. Al Ravak, Hadar Bekrach, Ve'en Achayte, on a single person that's living in the big city and he doesn't sin, even though he has so many Nisyayinis, and nevertheless he doesn't sin, the Ebishter announces his praise. Val Oni, Hamachzer Avedel Abalel, a poor person that finds an Aveda and he doesn't keep it for him himself, he returns it to its owner. Val Asher, Hama'asa Peiraisa of Bitsina. And Asher, when he gives Tzdake and he gives Maiser, he doesn't do it in public for everyone to see, he does it privately. So these are the people Debishter announces their praise. Rav Safre, Ravak Hador Bekrachave. Rav Safre was a single person and he lived in a big city. So Tane, Tane Kameh Rava with Rav Safra, there was a Tane that said, this Braise saying about the praise of a single person in a city in front of Rava and Rav Safra. So Tzav upon of the Rav Safra. Rav Safra's face was shining. He says, oh, this refers to me. I'm a Rava. So Rava turns to him and says, Lav Kagoimar. No, it doesn't mean someone like you. Elo, because you're learning Torah all day. You're learning Torah, you're protected by Torah, you have no Nisiyanis. It's referring to individuals like Rav Hanine and Rav Oishi, that they were shoemakers, Ba'arad Yisrael, that they were living in Eretz Yisrael. And Vahavi Yasfi Beshukke the Zainis. They were sitting in the marketplace, in a place where there are Zainis there. Vavdi Luhu Misani Le Zainis. And they made shoes for these Zainis. And Vahaili Luhu, and they would bring them their shoes. Inu Mistakli Buhu. These Zainis would look at them. And Vainu, but they, Rav Hanina Rav Aishia, Le Madlin Einayu did not pick up their eyes, Lestakuli Buhu, to look at them. Umumsayu Hochi, and the people in Eretz Yisrael, they, they made a shvua in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in their name, in their life. And they would say as follows, Bechayehon Rabbonon Kadishid Ba'arad Yisrael. I make a shvua in the life of these holy Rabbonon that are in Eretz Yisrael, referring to Rav Hanin and Rav Aishia, that kept themselves clean and pure, even though their business was out with these people in the marketplace. So they are the individuals that are the Ravik, they were single, and the Ebesher sings their praise every single day. There are three individuals that the Ebishter loves them. Someone that doesn't get angry. Farshim say that the Chiddush is even if it's for a purpose of a mitzvah. Someone that doesn't get drunk. Someone that's not stubborn with his midis. Even when someone antagonizes you, you don't take revenge. 
and Shloisha, Akadosh Baruch Hu Sainan. And three, the Ebishta hates them. Hamedaber, Echad Bepev, Echad Belev, a person that says one thing with his mouth and his heart is thinking differently, he's not, he's dishonest. Vayedeya, Eidiz Bechaveroi, or Lechaveroi, Ve'enim Meedloi, a person that knows testimony for his friend in a Dintaira, you could save your friend something and you don't come to say the testimony. Vaharoye, Dvar Erve Bechaveroi, you see an immoral behavior of your friend, Umeid by Yechidi, and you come to say testimony about it even though you're a single individual. So the point is because you're one person, your Adis is anyways not believed, not accepted. So the only thing that you accomplish with your Adis is you just give him a bad name. So if you're just one person, don't come and say this Adis. Even if you know for a fact. Correct, so. correct. Kiha the Tuvya Chata and it's like the case, the story that happened that Tuvya sinned, the Asa Zigud and Zigud came, Luchude, and he was alone. The Asid be Kameda Rav Papa and he testified in front of Rav Papa about this and Rav Papa didn't believe him. Rav Papa said you're one person and not only that, Nagdele Zigut. He gave lashes to Zigut for coming and saying about what Tuvya did if he came and said it alone. Omalei, so, Tuvya, so, so Zigut, that is, says to Rav Papa, Tuvya Chotav is Zigut Minged. Tuvya sins and Zigut gets lashes. It's a famous uh, line from the Gemara. So why am I the one getting the lashes? Omalei, yes, in the Chsiv, Lo Yokum Meidechot Beish. One person cannot say testimony negatively about someone else. You're coming alone to say testimony about this person. So The only thing you're accomplishing is you're giving him a bad name. So why are you saying this? So now the Gemara is going to be mighty on this subject that sometimes a person could say. If you see someone that was over an Aveda and you know, for, you know it for a fact, so then you're allowed to hate him. When, when we finish the sugi here, I'll explain exactly what this refers to. This is a Gemara which Al-Tarebbe talks about in Perik Lamed Beis and Tanya. But first let's see what it says here in the Gemara. That you're allowed to hate this individual. Shenema, the source for this is, Kisira Hamar Soinacha, you see the donkey of your enemy, Revitz Tachas Masoy, lying under its packages. So what is this talking about? My Soinah, what is this enemy here? Ilay Misoinah Nochri, if we're talking over here about a guy that you hate, is that the Pasuk, what the Pasuk is talking about? Vahatanya, Soinah Sha'amru, Soinah Yisrael. When the Pasuk here talks about someone you hate, because there's the mitzvah of Oz of Taz of Imoy, we're only talking about a Yid, Veloy Soinah Nochri, we're not talking about a guy. El Apshite Soinah Yisrael. So the Pasuk is talking about someone that you hate, that's a but the question is, Umi Shari Lemisne? Are you allowed to hate him? Vaksiv, Le Sisna Sachicha Bovavecha. You're not allowed to hate any Yid. So, what exactly is the case that you hate him? Ella, the answer is, the Ikesadi, the Avadi Sura. There must be a case where there are Eidos that he did an Isser. So, there's a case where you're allowed to hate this Yid, and that's why he's, you hate him. But if so, Kula Almanami Misni So, he, anybody, any Yid is allowed to hate him. Maishno, hi, what, what's the difference that it's, the Pasuk calls it Sain'acha, that you specifically hate him. So what's, what, what is the case here? Elolav, the answer is, Kahaygavne dechazi be'ihu dvar aveda. The case over here is that nobody else saw, you alone saw the dvar aveda that this person did, and we're speaking here about immoral behavior, and you're allowed to hate him. Not only allowed, but mitzvah is nicer. There's a mitzvah to hate him. Hashem, one that fears Hashem, they hate the evil in the world. What is the halacha? Are you allowed to tell your teacher about what you saw in this person in order that he should hate him? So he answered him, If you know that your teacher will trust your words, like two Eidos, so then then you could tell your teacher and your teacher will hate him as well. But if he's not going to trust you, then don't say anything because you're just giving him a bad name because he's anyway not going to trust you, it's just going to make a bad name for this person. So when is this case? When the Gemara here says that you see an Aveda that a person did and you're allowed to hate him. Anytime you see a person doing an Aveda, you're allowed to hate him. So the Altareb and Tanya makes a bunch of conditions to this. The Altareb there brings two basic conditions. Number one, it has to be a Yideh Sefer and a Tamil Chacham. Someone that knows all the Halachas and he's doing it bemazed even though he's learned. And number two, it has to be someone that you gave him Hechacha. You, you try to rebuke him and teach him and explain to him and he still didn't listen to you. Right? And it has to be someone that he knows you 
In other words, it has to be someone that's your friend, and when you give him Musr, he's not going to like just turn the other way, but someone that really listens to you, Musr. You have to be convinced two things. Number one, that it's a person that's Pe'emes a day is safer, and someone that's Pe'emes listening to you, Musr, and still he sins anyways. Then there's a mitzvah l'snaiseh. Now those are the two conditions the Alter Rebbe says. And then there's the famous vart that the Alter Rebbe says, even though it says <coughs> mitzvah l'snaiseh, it only means that you're allowed to hate the evil within him. The Ra that's within him. But at the very same time, you have to love the Yid, the yid as the Yid. His Neshama you have to still love. And not only that, the Altarebbe there finishes off the famous word, Yaakov uh, um, Podas Avram, that uh, the Midas Arachmanas, which means the fact that you love him as a Yid, has to overpower the fact that you hate him for the bad that's in him. So there's two. But which is more powerful? The love that you have for him as a Yid. That's the conclusion of Tiny Perik Lamed Beis. Huh? Smell Only smell dech, correct. And the min is makarev. Zok to gemara vayte tonu rabbana. We learned in Abraisa. Shloisha, the of three individuals, chayeyem, ein and chayem. Their life is not a life. Harachmanen, people that are overly merciful. In other words, you say yes to everyone and you're going to give to everyone and you end up not being able to fulfill your words, you have no life. Varaschanen, people that always get angry. Vanine yadas, people that are very particular, what the Gemara calls an istanis, you can't handle anything dirty and so on. But Rav Yasef, Rav Yasef said about himself, Kulu isnu bi, and I suffer from all three. Tan Rabbanon, Rav Yasef was also blind, maybe it's connected to that. Tan Rabbanon, it says, Nabrai Shloisha, Sainin Ze Eze, there are three that hate each other. Eloein klovim. Dogs, there's always a competition and hatred between each other. And the chickens, and the chaveirin, which refers to, some say it refers to the Persians, uh, that uh, they hate each other. Uh, the pshat, the, that's, that's what Rashi says in some places. The Yashaymerim, and others say, Af Hazainis, also the Zainis also hate each other. Yashaymerim, and others say as well, Af Tamide Chachamim Shebebabel, the Tamide Chachamim in Babel, the way they would learn, different than in Eretz Yisrael. In Eretz Yisrael, just like Talmud Yerushalmi, which is more straightforward, and the Gemara in Talmud Babli is with questions and answers and discussions, the Tamide Chachamim in Babel, they would learn in Bismedish and fight with each other in Pshat of the Inyanim, so they, they also have this hatred, so to speak, over here, Lachayr, it's in a positive sense, between each other. There are three that love each other. And Elohein ha gaidim, the gaidim that love each other, they stick together. Va'avadim, the avadim also stick together. And va'irvin, ravens. Arba, there are four individuals, ein ha das evlosam, that a normal person can't handle them. And Elohein, the following, dal geya, a poor, poor person that has nothing to show for himself, and nevertheless he's a hori behavior, he's a balgaive, the usher mekachish, and a rich man that denies when he owes money or he denies that he has money, the zokin menaif, an older person, and he's acting immorally, uparnes mezgal at zibur bechinam, and a person that's in a position of leadership, and he throws his, uh, his position, his, his, he takes advantage of his position of leadership for no reason. Yeshayimim and others also say, a person that divorced his wife once and remarried her, and he divorced her a second time, and he's going to marry her for a third time. This is a very despicable kind of behavior. Now, uh, this is only a yes, so the Gemara explains, the Tanakama, the Tanakama disagrees with this, and he says, Zimna the Ksubasa Merube, could be that the reason why he's remarrying her again, because he simply can't afford to bear, pay her the Ksuba money. Inami Yeshle Bonami Mena, or maybe he has children with her, so he can't, uh, get, he has to have her in the house for the children. So this is a person that we can't judge, and therefore it's not part of that category of despicable behavior. Chamishod Vodim, there are five things, Tsivo, Kenan, as Bonov, that Kanan commanded his children. Hashbam say it doesn't literally mean that he commanded his children, but you see this negative behavior, as the Gemara will say, regarding the Kananim, and it, it almost seems as if Kanan commanded his children to do this. So what are they? Evu stick together, love each other. The Evu love stealing money. The Evu and love immoral behavior. The Sinu always hate your master. And don't speak the truth. You see, this is, this is their behavior. Shishadvarim, there are three things, Namarim Besus, that it says about a horse. Oyevis Aznus, he likes Znus, Vayevis Amulchame, he likes fighting, Viruchai Gasa, he has a hori spirit. Umayis Sashaina, he doesn't like sleeping. There's a famous thing it says about a horse that he sleeps a very short sleep. I think it says 60 breaths or whatever it is. A horse sleeps very little. Vayechal Harbe, a horse eats a lot. Umayitsi Kimo, and the waste from a horse is very little. Vayeshaimim, and others say, Af Mevakish, Larik, Bailav Amulchame. A horse, when he takes his uh, rider in a mulchama, so he wants to kill the one that's riding on him to throw him off of him. Shiva, the seven individuals, minudin la they're in chayim from heaven. 
And Eloheim, the following, Mishael lo Isha, someone that's not married, of course, speaking about someone that's negligent about it, someone that could have got married and he's not. Vishayesh lo Isha, Vein lo Ibanim, he's married, but he has no children. Again, only in a case where it's the person's own negligence. Or Mishayesh lo Ibanim, a person that has children, but Vein Megad lo Natalmet Teire, he doesn't raise them to learn Teire. Or Mishael lo Tfilim Beroisha, a person that has Tfilim and he doesn't put the Tfilim on his head, the Tfilim Bezroi or the Tfilim on his arm. Or Tzitzis Bebigdo, he doesn't put on Tzitzis and Mezuzah. He doesn't put on the mezuzah on his doorpost. And someone that doesn't wear shoes. And some say, Also an individual that does not join a su'udas mitzvah. What is this referring to? The Rashbam says, a bris that you're invited to, and also a chasana of a bas koin to a koin, which is considered to be a sudas mitzvah. So this is something which is actually brought in Shulchan Aruch. This is the reason why today the minig is that by a bris, you don't invite to a bris, you just notify about a bris. Because a person that's invited and actually doesn't join, so it says here, menudin l'shamayim. So the Gemara is referring to a, only a, a sudas mitzvah, a chasana, stama chasana is not considered to be a sudas mitzvah like a bris. Amar why, why if, if you don't wear shoes, is uh, I don't remember, I'm not sure. In the name of Rabbi Yaisi, from the town of Hutzel. From where do we know? That you do not ask stargazers about the future. Because the Pasuk says, you should be sincere with the Eibishter. Where do we know that if you know that your friend is greater than you in one thing? Just one thing. You have to give him his honor. In other words, even if he didn't teach you any Teira, but he's greater than you in one area in Teira, so you have to give him his honor. The Pasuk says, Pasuk in Daniel, that there was an extra spirit, that there was something extra about this individual. Because because of this, he elevated him to have a certain prominence in the kingdom. In other words, just because of one thing, he gave him his COVID. And then also another halacha, v'hayisheves al dam tohoir asura l'shamish. So the halacha minatayre benigeta woman is that that if she gives birth, so for the first uh, forty days, any blood that she sees is called dam toihar. It doesn't make her tummy. After forty days, the blood that she sees does make her tummy. Yeah, this is the halacha min So what it's saying over here is that for the first 40 days, so if she sees blood, so you, you, you'll, you'll continue having relations with her. You won't be concerned. So now it'll come to the, the 40th night, and then if she does see blood, then it will make you tame. So therefore he says that this woman that was in this habit of seeing blood and seeing herself as tahir, so it comes to the 40th night, you're going to think, oh, the blood is still toyed. So as Sura Lashamish, you have to make a break between the time of Dam Toyar and the next time period where the Dam is Tome. At Kama, how much should the break be? Omar Rav, Oina. Rav says one Oina. What's one Oina? Rashi says it's a 24 hour period. The Rashbam says it's a 12 hour period. That's how we usually pass him and get to an Oina, that it's a 12 hour period. That between the Dam Toyar, the blood that's tired and the blood that's tome, you should make a 12 hour period in between that you still consider the, the, the blood that you should not have a relation that is with your wife in order to remind yourself the difference between the dam toyer and the dam tome. Tana, the Gemara now says regarding this person that said this the halacha here, we said it was Rabbi Yaisi Ish Hutzel. Who was Rabbi Yaisi Ish Hutzel? So the Gemara, Tana, who Yosef Ish Hutzel, who Yosef Abavli. Sometimes he's also called Yosef Abavli, and who Isi Ben Gorariah. Sometimes he's called Isi Ben Gorariah. Isi and who Isi Ben Yehuda? Who Isi Ben Gamliel? Who Isi Ben Mahalalel? He has all kinds of names. It's the same person. Omar Shmoy. What was really his name? Isi Ben Akavia Shmoy. His real name was Isi Ben Akavia. Now the Gemara says a similar thing about another Amaira, who Rabbi Yitzchok ben Tavla and who Rabbi Yitzchok ben Chakla and who Rabbi Yitzchok ben Ilo. Sometimes these names are interchangeable, it's the same person. Now the Gemara says, the Bach takes out the word who, Rabbi Yitzchok ben Acha the Shmaita. When you see the word Rabbi Yitzchok brought up in a sugya, Shmaita means like in a sugya of Gemara, who is that? It's Rabbi Yitzchok ben Acha. And who Rabbi Yitzchok ben Pincha is the Agadita. When you see the name Rabbi Yitzchok brought up in, a, in an Agadita Gemara, who is it? It's Rabbi Yitzchok ben Pinchas. The Simonach, a simon for this is, Shimuna Achai Vereyai. So over here in this Pasuk it says Shimu, like the word Shmaita, Sugye, and it says Achai. So that's the Remez that Rabbi Yitzchok ben Ache is the Rabbi Yitzchok of the Sugyes in Gemara. Amar Abba, we're going to finish with the Mishnah. Amar Abba, Baba Chana, Amar Abba Yechana, Mishmei, Rabbi Yudah, Barabbi Loi. Echol Batzel. You should rather eat 
uh, so you should eat onions, eat cheap food, the shev betzel. So you'll have your money reserved to have a roof over your head, to have a shade over your head. And the light teichel avzim v'tarna goylen, don't get into a habit of eating expensive foods, duck or uh, chicken or expensive foods, v'hei libach roidev alecha, and your heart will be running after this food and you want to have a roof over your head. Pachais mimeichlach a mishtach, you should minimize from what you eat and drink, and keep the money, add up the money that you have to be able to afford the house to live in. Ki also Ola, when Ola came, Omar, he said, Masla, Maslam b'marove. The following marshal was said in Eretz Yisrael. The Ochel Alita, a person that eats the fat um, tail of an animal, in other words, he's in, he's in the habit of eating very expensive foods, Toshi Baliyasa, he has to hide himself in an attic. People are going to be owing people money. He won't have what to pay. He'll have to hide himself in an attic. So it's a play on words. Alisa, Alisa. The Ochel Kakuli. So if a, a person that eats Kakuli, which is a kind of a vegetables. So he eats cheap foods. And he, uh, he, doesn't, he doesn't eat expensive foods. Akikli the Masa Shachif. He can sit over there in the center of the city where the garbage is, where all the people are around. And he's not afraid of people approaching him because he has money to give what he has to. So Bekitsa, you should use your money for the right things. Agotavach.